there's been a discussion about how to apportion responsibility or the amount of increase in atmospheric CO2 concentrations and the amount of warming that's already occurred. And typically these efforts to attribute uh, warming and increased concentrations to past emissions go back to the mid-19th century. And so we ask the question, well, what if we include emissions that happened, say, even a thousand years ago? A and so my former postdoc, Julia Pongratz, led this study. And what she did is constructed a simple model based on more complex, full three-dimensional general circulation models. And these simple models have the same basic response to emissions as the more complex models, but they don't have the amount of underlying noise. And so you can see the signal of emissions from a, a given region uh, without having all that background noise of climate variability. And so when we did this study, we found that in particular there was a lot of deforestation that had occurred in China and India many centuries ago, and that th these changes that happened many centuries ago are still continuing to increase atmospheric CO2 concentrations and producing higher temperatures. And, and in particular, we found that for the India subcontin Indian subcontinent and surrounding region, that uh, the amount of increased atmospheric CO2 concentration that you could attribute to them would be increased by about 25 percent by inc including these pre-industrial emissions. And if you think about the temperature change, over one-third of their responsibility for temperature increase uh, would be due to pre-industrial emissions. Now let me back off of something I just said, because I said responsibility, and science is not about responsibility. Science is about determining facts, and social evaluation systems have to do with responsibility. A and, you know, I, now I'm moving away from science to my own viewpoint, that if you're a poor person in India, that the fact that some ancestor of yours centuries ago emitted some CO2, if you're not benefiting from it, it seems hard for me to understand how, how you can hold that poor person from India responsible for that emissions. I don't feel responsible for what my grandparents might, might have done, except insofar as I benefited from that. So, so we're doing a, a technical study here of how much past emissions many centuries ago affect current climate. A and what we see is that even these tiny emissions, relatively tiny emissions from centuries ago are still affecting today's climate. And so we have to think that our big emissions today are going to be having a substantial effect on climate many centuries into the future.